Well, they are back in the air. Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes have been cleared for takeoff since being grounded after a panel blew out on one of an Alaska Airlines flight on January 5th. ABC 7 News reporter Unser Hassan spoke to passengers who arrived at SFO this evening on a MAX 9, one of the first since the planes were grounded. Many of the Alaska Airlines passengers arriving at SFO from Austin knew enough about their flight to locate their bags, but not all the details. Did you know this was a MAX 9? No. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't know. <laughs> Alaska Flight 353 is thought to be the first MAX 9 plane to land at SFO since the FAA grounded the Boeing jets three weeks ago. I probably would have flown anyway, but I might have researched it more. U.S. regulators grounded all MAX 9 flights immediately after a panel broke off an Alaska Airlines flight on January 5th. According to the Associated Press, Alaska and United both resumed flying their MAX 9s on Friday. They're the only U.S. airlines that currently operate the MAX 9. It's not a software problem. It's not a design problem with the airplane. It involves making sure that four bolts were put into the door and properly tightened. It's not hard. The FAA has been inspecting all MAX 9 planes. It's also investigating if Boeing and its suppliers followed necessary manufacturing safety procedures. Any violations could result in sanctions. Despite the inspections, some passengers, like Fremont resident Amber Engel, say they're still apprehensive. I think it's important that they are inspected, but I'm assuming that they have been inspected before as well. So hopefully, um, <laughs> you know, there's there's a little bit of self responsibility too. Just you know, trying to be mindful of that your of your own safety. Meanwhile, U.S. airline officials and aviation regulators point out, despite some close calls. There have been no fatal crashes of a U.S. airliner since 2009. At SFO, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.